Meta has just launched something pretty unexpected Meta's MovieGen. But before we get into the details that might surprise you, let's take a quick look at this short video. Now that you've seen that, you're probably starting to get the picture Meta has quietly become a major player in the AI space, and not enough people are talking about it. Meta's MovieGen took many by surprise, even within the AI community. After watching that clip, you can probably see why. In the video, Meta's MovieGen was compared to other cutting-edge systems like Runway Gen 3 Alpha, and it actually outperforms them in a number of key areas. As someone who closely follows AI, I didn't expect Meta to release a foundation model for video that could compete with let alone surpass companies that focus solely on video generation. The real surprise here? While we all thought Meta was busy refining Llama 3, they were also developing this powerful video generation tool behind the scenes. The results speak for themselves, with Meta's MovieGen even going head-to-head -head with Sora, and in many cases surpassing it. Meta's ability to innovate in this space is impressive, and this is easily one of the most unexpected and exciting updates in AI right now. It's yet another reminder of how fast this technology is evolving sometimes faster than we can even predict. The examples we've seen so far are impressive, but let's break it down and dive into the four key features of Meta's MovieGen that really matter. I'll walk you through the model sizes so everything is clear before we get into the details. First up, we have the main MovieGen model, a powerhouse with 30 billion parameters. Then there's MovieGen Audio, a 13 billion parameter model that generates audio clips. Next, we've got the personalized MovieGen video, a post-training extension that customizes video outputs. And finally, there's MovieGen Edit, another post-training extension, which allows you to fine-tune and edit your videos. So essentially, there are two main models, and one of those models comes with two extensions for added customization. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share this episode with your friends. Stay in the loop on all the latest and greatest in the world of AI. Now, let's take a look at some video examples, and I want you to pay close attention to the details you might normally overlook like the lighting and physics. These are areas where AI video generators often struggle. For instance, in this next video, the lighting and physics are particularly impressive. Achieving realistic lighting is one of the toughest challenges for AI because lighting interacts with multiple surfaces, creating reflections and shadows that are hard to mimic. But here we see the lighting around the subject's body and on the ground matching perfectly with the environment. It's these subtle details that really make the difference in AI-generated videos. In this example, the prompt was the camera is behind a shirtless man, wearing a green cloth around his waist, barefoot, holding a fiery object, making wide circular motions. In the background, a calm sea enhances the mesmerizing atmosphere of his fire dance. As you can see, the prompt adherence is surprisingly high, capturing the essence of the scene beautifully. Now let's look at another example, and honestly, this one's my favorite from all the demos on Meta's website. Picture this a sloth, chilling in style, sipping on a tropical drink while floating on a donut-shaped pool float. The text prompt for this one? A sloth with pink sunglasses lies on a donut float in a pool, holding a tropical drink. The world is tropical, the sunlight casts a shadow. What really makes this example stand out to me isn't just the adorable sloth, though, let's be honest. That's a win, but the subtle details. If you take a closer look at the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice how the water's reflections are captured so effectively on both sides of the sloth. It's a small detail, but one that's often tricky to get right in AI-generated videos. And as I mentioned before, it's these little things that I tend to focus on. Another detail that impressed me here is the way shadows are handled. At first glance, I didn't catch it, but on closer inspection, 
I notice something really cool. As the sloth moves across the water, the shadows on its face shift in response to the sunlight filtering through the trees. The dynamic lighting and shadow play adds so much realism to the scene. You can even see how the shadows under the donut float evolve as the sloth moves, which makes the whole thing feel even more lifelike. It's these kinds of nuanced touches that often go unnoticed but make all the difference in creating a sense of realism. When everything works together this seamlessly, that's when a model truly shines. And here's another fun example, a red-faced monkey with white fur bathing in a natural hot spring. The prompt describes the monkey playing with a tiny wooden sailboat, complete with a white sail and rudder, while surrounded by lush greenery and rocks. The level of detail is impressive. Sure, there's a little bit of minor morphing happening, but honestly, I've seen that in almost every model. Overall, it's still a super effective demonstration of what this system is capable of. This next example is honestly one of the most surprising I've seen in quite some time, especially considering how challenging it is to get these details right. Let's start by looking at the first key point, the reflections of the monkey. They're surprisingly accurate, as are the reflections of the small boat next to it. You can also see the ripples in the water as the boat moves forward, adding a nice touch of realism. And if you look closely, you'll notice the monkey's legs beneath the surface along with its hand just under the water. It's small, intricate details like these that make this model so effective. The fact that this level of technology will be available soon is incredible. Other companies are working on their versions too, but this one really stands out when you zoom in on the details. It's easy to forget that what you're watching isn't real. Now let's move on to one final clip. This one features a girl running along a beach, flying a kite. She's wearing jean shorts and a yellow t-shirt with the sun shining brightly overhead. What's impressive here is the way it captures two key elements. First, the clip showcases dynamic physics really well. One of the common challenges with AI video generation is getting running motion right, especially for longer clips. Often, you'll see legs morphing or moving unnaturally, speeding up or slowing down awkwardly. But in this clip, the running motion is seamless, without any of those glitches, and that's not easy to achieve. Another thing I caught and you might have missed this is how the girl's footsteps interact with the sand. As she runs, you can see the sand shifting and the footsteps being left behind in real time. It's such a subtle detail, but it adds to the realism and makes the whole scene feel more grounded. Here's another great example of really accurate physics detection, which is always a nice touch. Before we dive into this next video demonstration though, I want to quickly mention that it doesn't showcase any areas where the model might fall short. Once we get access to more demos, we might start seeing where some of the challenges lie. But for now, this is a great example of what it can do. I have to say, Meta's MovieGen is definitely underrated. The ability to produce such consistent and high-quality edits on the spot is pretty remarkable. Here, we're looking at a feature called Edit with Video Text, and it's amazing to see just how effective it is. You'll notice in the demo, there's the original video in the top left, along with three different versions of the video below it. One of the edits adds fire sparklers to the character's hands, and as I've mentioned before, lighting is key. As the character moves their hands down, watch the lighting on their face, it gets a bit warmer, more orange, to reflect the glow of the sparklers. Then, as the hands move away, the lighting fades naturally. This shading effect is subtle but so important, it really sells the realism, with the light correctly bouncing off the character's face. Another thing to note is the background. It maintains its proper perspective throughout, even though it's slightly out of focus, which gives the scene a more realistic depth. The fact that the background stays consistent and isn't overly sharp adds to the overall immersion. And then there's the final edit changing the sky to display the northern lights. It's a beautiful touch and really adds a dynamic feel to the scene. Now in this clip, there's an option to change the background to an outdoor stadium, but interestingly, it didn't specify changing the character's shirt to blue. I'm not sure if that was part of the prompt or if it was a quirk of the model, but either way, the results still look fantastic. Here's another fantastic example, and I have to say, this one is definitely among the most effective demos so far. The original video starts off simple a man running through the desert. But then, with a quick text input add blue pom-poms to his hands, we not only get the pom-poms, but they come with impressively accurate physics, as if the man is actually running with them. You can see the way the pom-poms bounce naturally, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't stop there. The desert itself is transformed into a cactus-filled landscape, and get this, the man's running outfit is swapped for an inflatable dinosaur costume. And here's what I love about this, it's not just a quick swap the physics of how the costume moves are spot on. If you've ever seen those inflatable dinosaur costumes, you know how their heads bob in a funny, exaggerated way, and that's exactly what you see here. 
It's a hilarious yet accurate touch that makes the whole thing feel real despite the absurdity. The pom-pom edit too is fun to watch, as the small but noticeable changes between each version highlight how flexible and responsive the model is. Now, this is where things start to get really exciting because it hints at the future potential for generative video effects. For example, there's a clip where they add pouring rain to the scene. It looks pretty realistic, but I'll point out that the clothes don't get wet or show other effects of the rain. Those little details are tricky to pull off, and while we're not quite there yet, it's likely just a matter of time before we see that level of sophistication. Another cool effect is changing the background to a carnival setting with blurred effects that create a nice sense of depth. And then they add 3D glasses to the character, which is where things really get interesting. If you've ever tried 3D tracking in traditional video editing, you know it's a painstaking process of pinpointing data points on an object to attach the effect. But with AI, it looks like we're moving toward a future where the software will automatically do all of that for you no need to track each individual point. This kind of automation is incredible because it's going to save creators so much time and effort. What used to take hours to get just right could soon be done in a matter of minutes. We've got one last example in the text to video area, and once again, it shows just how powerful and effective this technology can be. What's remarkable here is not just how well it works, but the sheer potential it holds. I genuinely believe that this approach is going to revolutionize video editing in the near future. Imagine this you're working in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or even CapCut, and instead of spending hours manually tweaking things, you simply type in a command change the background, or adjust the lighting this kind of technology could completely transform how films and videos are made. While it might take a few more years to polish, it's already clear that this will be a huge time saver especially for indie filmmakers and content creators. One of the most fascinating features here is the personalized video capability. We've seen other AI systems offer personalization with images, so it's no surprise that Meta is leading the charge with personalized videos. What's incredible is that Meta's system only needs one image to create a convincing video likeness. Just one image. Normally, you'd need multiple reference shots to get anywhere near this level of accuracy, so this is a huge leap forward. We've already seen some impressive examples of this personalization in action, and I can see content creators getting really excited about this. I know I'll be testing it out myself, who knows, maybe we'll soon see some hilarious videos of Mark Zuckerberg riding horses or doing something totally unexpected. Next up, let's dive into one of the most exciting and surprising features to come out of MovieGen the video to audio capability. This one really caught me off guard, and here's why. We've seen similar software attempts before, but what MovieGen offers is on a whole new level. Essentially, this system was trained on an enormous data set of videos paired with matching soundtracks, and what it's learned to do is fascinating it can now automatically match up the perfect sounds to any video. Let me show you a few examples so you can hear what I'm talking about. Then I'll break down exactly how this works. Now that you've seen and heard that, you can tell just how seamless the audio integration is. Here's how it works. The model processes the visual frames from the video and predicts what sounds should accompany them. So for instance, if the video shows a car speeding down a street, the model generates sound effects like the roaring engine, screeching tires, and maybe even ambient city noise. What's impressive is how the system understands the action in the video and tailors the audio perfectly to fit. But it doesn't stop there. It can generate multiple types of audio. You've got diegetic sounds, the sounds that come directly from the action in the scene, like footsteps, dialogue, or objects clashing. And then there are non-diegetic sounds, things like background music or mood setting audio, like the intense music you'd hear during a high-speed chase. The quality of the sound is just as impressive. MovieGen produces audio at a high quality 48 kgs, which is the cinematic standard. So the soundtracks and sound effects it creates are crystal clear, polished, and ready for professional use in films, games, or any media you can think of. The really cool part is that MovieGen doesn't just slap a short sound clip on a video. It generates long, coherent audio tracks that stretch naturally over several minutes. The audio flows in sync with the action, making it feel like it was handcrafted for that scene. 
This whole system was trained on millions of hours of video and sound, so it's not only learned the physical relationships between what you see and what you hear like how footsteps should sound on different surfaces, but also the psychological aspects. It understands how sound can evoke emotions, build tension, and set the mood. Think about a quiet scene suddenly bursting with fireworks. The system generates the sound of the explosion right as it happens, and it feels real, but the magic doesn't stop at training. Overall, this is a huge leap forward. We're looking at a future where soundtracks, sound effects, and even background music could be generated automatically with incredible precision. I honestly didn't expect this level of quality, and it's going to save creators so much time while still delivering professional-grade audio.